today I'm going to suggest magic and trap cards for any deck. First of all, one of my favorites, a very common card, Ultimate Offering. It allows you to gain extra summons by sacrificing 500 life points. It can come in very handy. Next up, Draining Shield. If you haven't heard of this one before, it allows you to absorb attack damage and add it to your life points. Not a bad card. Not sure of the legality of this card. Raigeki. Very powerful. Destroys all of your opponent's monsters. Recent acquisition of mine. I replaced my lightning vortex with it. Sakuretsu armor. When a monster on your opponent's side of the field attacks, that monster is destroyed. Staple from any of the decks I create. A monster reborn. If you're just playing for fun, I recommend Monster Reborn. Do I need to go into further detail for this card? I think not. Here is Tribute to the Doomed, a card I use quite often. Simply discard one card and to destroy any monster on the field. Pretty nice effect. Double Summon. If you don't have your ultimate offering, it can come in very handy. Gravekeeper Servant. Forces your opponent to discard the top card of their deck before attacking. Never know what they're going to lose. This is Call of the Haunted. Very similar to Monster Reborn. Heavy Storm. Gets rid of all magic and trap cards on the field. Including yours. Risky. But. Saved me a couple of times. Bottomless Trap Hole. Removes from play a monster that your opponent summons. Very nice. Or not very nice. My cousins cast me out quite a bit. Dark Bribe. One of my personal favorites. It deactivates any other magic and trap card and turns its effect into draw one card. Pretty nice. Card Trader allows you to trade in one card per turn to get a new one. Honestly, also has saved me a couple times. This one is specifically for dark decks. Mystical Plasma Zone. Gain dark monsters, gain 500 attack. I use it to summon my CPAC Apu. If you see my other video, you'll know what that is.
This is monster reincarnation. Instead of summoning a monster to the field, it summons a monster from your graveyard to your hand. So if a monster can't be special summoned, you can meet its summon requirements again through your hand. Also quite useful. Another questionable legality card, Pot of Greed. But it's a classic. I couldn't get rid of it. I don't duel in tournaments, so... I duel for fun. Pot of Greed stays with, with me. A Raigeki break. Discard one card to destroy one card on the field. Give and take. A Dark Core. Uh, pretty effective card. Discard one card, just like Raigeki Break. But the card in question has to be a monster that you destroy, and it is removed from play. Not bad. The infamous Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Saves you once per turn from an attack. If your opponent only has one monster, they're screwed. My favorite equip card, the Wicked Breaking Flamberge Bow. A mighty sword that cuts through effects and gives 500 attack points. All you need to do is discard one card to activate it. A lot of my cards have to do with discarding. Sorry. And last but not least, my magic cylinder. Bounces back damage to your opponent. Who could ask for more? I suppose anyone could. They'd be greedy. Alright, YouTubers. I suppose that's all from me for this time. Signing off.